The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the AnimateLab Robotics Framework to give you some idea of what it is and what you can do using it. AnimateLab is a neuromechanical simulation system that allows you to build the body of a living organism or a mechanical system within a physically realistic virtual environment and then build a biologically realistic neural network to control its behavior. Hill muscle models and springs are available to simulate the biomechanics of animals while biologically realistic neural models simulate the nervous system. Till now, AnimateLab has primarily been used by researchers and neuroscience students to build realistic simulations of a variety of different organisms. The application allows users to lay out the body of their organism using a simple 3D visual editor, and it provides a visual tool for laying out the neural network that controls the muscles or motors of that system. The new robotics framework now takes this system beyond pure simulation and makes it very easy for almost anyone to build real, biologically inspired robots that use nervous systems based on how real animals control their behaviors. The framework makes it easy because it takes most of the hard engineering work of interfacing with the hardware out of the equation. You can build very complex biomimetic robots without having to write a single line of source code or know anything beyond some very basics of electronics and all of this using commercial, off-the-shelf component. This is done by first building a model of that robot within the simulation environment where you can easily lay out your neural network control system and quickly test its performance on the simulated robot. Once you have it working like you want, then you simply download that neural network to a small microcomputer board. You then test the exact same neural network on your real system to see if you get similar behavior or if you need to adjust your model or neural controller in some way to improve its performance. AnimateLab has been tested on several different boards including the NVIDIA Jetson TK1, the Odroid U3, and the Parallela. Typically this board will run the Ubuntu operating system. I will be using the NVIDIA Jetson in this demonstration. The Jetson is the first embedded supercomputer. It has 192 processing cores making it very powerful for doing parallel processing. I plan to release a CUDA neural network plugin for AnimateLab very soon to begin taking advantage of this on robotic systems. While the neural network runs on a microcomputer, it talks to an I.O. controller that performs the actual interface to get data from sensors into the microcomputer and control actuators like servos. The AnimateLab SDK is open and very flexible. With it, you can add virtually any type of I.O. interface you want. In this demo, I'll be using the open source Fermata protocol running on an Arduino compatible robotics board. Arduino is a microcontroller that is very easy for almost anyone to use. And the Fermata protocol simplifies things even more by making the Arduino a slave of the microcomputer. You simply need to upload a standard sketch onto your Arduino and then AnimateLab can query the board, find its capabilities, and dynamically program it to use different pins for I.O. All without the end user having to write any code. This is made possible by connecting your model components with controllers for the real world parts. So each motorized hinge joint in your model would be connected to a specific servo on the real robot. Within your neural network you command the joint to go to a given position at a certain velocity. And the part interface takes care of all the nitty gritty details of translating those commands into real movements of that servo automatically. You just have to tell it which servos match up with what parts in your model. For the release of the robotics framework, I've built a series of video tutorials that demonstrate how to build a simple robotic arm and control it using the framework. The final video shows how to use wireless joystick using an XP mesh transceiver to control both the real robot arm and the simulated one. Now let's watch the real robot arm and the simulated one pick up objects and place them into a bin.
pretty cool. And all of this was done using commercial off-the-shelf components with just a few hours of work. And MATLAB gives you the ability to precisely control your robot's movements and to closely match the simulated and real robot output. For example, in this next video we command our robot arm to move in a sine wave. Halfway through we bias it to change its movements. First we run it in the simulation and then on the real robot, but I will play them side by side so you can compare their behavior. We can also chart the data from both the simulated and the real robot and compare them directly. Doing this you can see that they match very closely. However, don't expect your simulation and the real system to always match this well, especially at first. You'll need to use an iterative approach of building your simulation, then running it on the real system, comparing the behavior, and then using that to refine your simulation and the nervous system. In recent years, there have been a number of devices like the Arduino microcontroller and the LEGO Mindstorms robotics kit that have created revolutions in their fields by making it very easy for almost anyone to start building a robot or to create their own embedded system. My hope is to build up the Animatlab robotics framework so that it can play a similar role in the field of biomimetic robots by making it very easy for students, hobbyists, and experienced researchers to build and test highly advanced biologically realistic nervous systems for the autonomous control of robots. Please enjoy the rest of the tutorials on building the robot arm.